Good morning students. I hope you all are fine. Today we are going to start our new unit, unit number 3 from page number 17. And the name of this unit is Gawadar Port. Students, what is Gawadar Port? What does Gawadar Port mean? Let's read the lesson and then you will come to know. Okay? Students, open your books to page number 17. Keep finger on line number 1 and read aloud with me. The Gawadar Port is a deep water seaport of Pakistan. It is situated on the Arabian Sea in the Balochistan province of Pakistan. The Gawadar district covers a coastal zone. The main towns of Gawadar are Pasni Gawadar and Jiwani. Gawadar is a Balochi word meaning the door of the wind. Now that it is being developed under the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, CPAC, it can rightly be called the Door of Prosperity Wind. It is located 533 km west of Pakistan's largest city, Karachi. It is 120 km from the Iranian border. It is located 380 km away from Oman and near the important oil shipping lands in the Persian Gulf. Turn your page to page number 18 and keep finger on line number 1. Read aloud with me. Most of this route is home to around two-thirds of the world's oil reserves. It is also the nearest warm water seaport to Central Asian states as well as Afghanistan. In the past, the Gawadar was part of Oman. Pakistan purchased its territory from Oman for US $3 million on 8 September 1958 and Gawadar officially became part of Pakistan. The Gawadar Deep Sea Port is the second great memorial to Pakistan-China friendship after the Karakaram Highway. Pakistan-China strategic relations have strengthened since China became the primary investor in building the Gawadar Sea Port. The foundation stone for the port was laid by China in March 2002. The Chinese Premier declared Gawadar as the economic corridor of Pakistan on his visit to Pakistan in May 2013. In 2015, it was announced that the city and port would be developed further under CPEC at a cost of US $1.62 billion. CPEC is a 3,218 kilometers route consisting of highways, railways, and pipelines that will connect the Gawadar port to Xinjiang in China. Gawadar has helped China and Pakistan realize the importance of a maritime silk route which will benefit not only China and Pakistan but also Central Asia. The beaches in Gawadar are unique in beauty. They have matchless scenery and huge potential for tourism. There are many astonishing wind-carved rock formations that look as if carved by an artist. The turquoise seawater with golden sparkles facing south gives a beautiful sight. It is said that in the coming years, these beaches are going to be a great attraction not only for the people of Pakistan, but for people from all over the world. Gawadar can act as an international center of trade for Pakistan. It connects three regions, Central Asia, South Asia, and the Middle East. It is a doorway port for Pakistan and the region. It can serve as an outlet for landlocked Central Asian countries, Western China and Afghanistan by offering transit trade, transshipment facilities. It also complements the Karachi port and the port Qasim and thus stimulates economic growth of Pakistan. This port holds great economic prominence for Pakistan. 
इट वुड ओपन न्यू जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड हेल्प इन द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ बलोचिस्तान देर वुड बी पॉसिबिलिटीज फॉर पाकिस्तान टू एक्सप्लोर मिनरल्स हाइड्रोकार्बन्स एंड ऑयल एंड गैस रिसोर्स द पोर्ट विल अट्रैक्ट फॉरन इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड टूरिज्म इट वुड प्रोवाइड फ्री ट्रेड जोन्स एंड स्पेशल इकनॉमिक जोन्स दैट वुड हेल्प इन द इकनॉमिक प्रोस्पैरिटी ऑफ पाकिस्तान इट विल बूस्ट जॉइंट वेंचर्स विद अदर कंट्रीज इन द ऑयल एंड एनर्जी सेक्टर द होटल इंडस्ट्री टूरिज्म ट्रेड एंड द स्टेट रेवेन्यू विल इंक्रीज विच विल सपोर्ट द कंट्रीज इकनॉमी द गवादर पोर्ट विल नो डाउट बी द डोर टू प्रॉस्पैरिटी फॉर द हार्ड वर्किंग पीपल ऑफ पाकिस्तान students this was the reading of page number 17 and page number 18 and the unit is gawadar port okay unit number 3 all right now what this lesson is saying this lesson is actually describing a port that is named as gawadar and it is a balochi name which means the door of the wind okay basically it was the part of oman gawadar uh, gawadar port was a part of oman but pakistan purchased its territory from oman for us 3 million dollars and it was purchased on 8 september 1958 okay and from that day the gawadar is officially the part of pakistan All right, students. Look, in the development of Gawadar Port, China is helping the Pakistan. Okay, and this is known as CPAC, and CPAC stands for China Pakistan Economic Corridor. Students, China became the primary investor in building the Gawadar Sea Port. and gawadar has helped china and pakistan realize the importance of a maritime silk route which will benefit not only china and pakistan but also central asia all right students and if we talk about the beaches in gawadar so they are unique in beauty they have matchless scenery it means if you will look at the view then you will be amazed after looking at that natural scene all right it looks like as if carved by an artist all right students and yes no doubt that the gawadar port will be the door to prosperity for the hard working people of pakistan okay students now let's pronounce some new words from page number 17 and page number 18 Word number one is situated. Number two, coastal. Number three, prosperity. Word number four is reserve. Number five, purchased. Number six, territory. Word number seven is memorial. The next word is strategic and then the word is strengthened another word is investor our next word is declared after declared the word is developed our next word is zinjiang after zinjiang the word is realize next word is maritime another word is scenery after scenery the word is astonishing and then our word is serve after serve the word is stimulates another word is prominence our next word is explore after explore the word is ventures 
and then our word is boost and the last word is revenue all right students these were some of the new words from page number 17 and page number 18 here our unit ends we have completed the reading of unit number 3 gawadapur all right students now here is your assignment Reread the lesson and complete the blanks. I have given you some of the blanks and I have also given you the options. You will have to reread the lesson and then you will have to complete these blanks after selecting the correct option. Alright, students. And the next question is consult a dictionary to find the correct spellings of the given words. I have given you the wrong spellings and you will have to find out the correct spellings of these words. And these words are chosen from lesson number 3 of yours. Alright students, thank you.